Hi, this is Highbridge Caravans Devon Branch and on this uh, rather miserable late May day we're doing a video on this not at all miserable, a freshly arrived, still in the car park, 2010 Devon Limousine. So Devon Motorhomes, they used to be built down here near us in Devon, near Exeter I believe. Um, more latterly they're built in the northeast of England, they're one of Britain's oldest van converter. Just do van conversions to a very good level, they're very well thought of. This is quite a rare one, this the Limousin. It's based on the medium wheelbase Renault Master platform, which is a very torquey, stable, easy to drive platform, particularly in this form, uh, which is actually a six speed automatic, which is super duper. Uh, so, this one's a real nice looking van in this. I'm not even sure what colour you'd call it. Is it sort of grey green, sort of brownie grey, greenish metallic? It's a good looking van anyway. It's only 5.4 metres tip to toe, so it's a uh, compact one, be very easy to get around in. Uh, it only had two owners from new. This is priced at 32995 It's in fantastic condition and it has a full stamped up service history. This is not something we ever see in motorhomes because they don't do a lot of miles so they don't generally get serviced every year but uh, but this one um, has been done every single year of its life and it's all stamped up in the book. Now the mileage on it is, I can't remember, it's about 47 odd so I'm just going to flip the dash on and leave that to do its uh, leave that to do its thing it takes a while on the Renaults for the mileage to ping up so while we're waiting for that to happen we'll have a little walk around the outside so uh, it's obviously been abroad at some time it's got some headlight deflectors on um, 2010 2.5 turbo diesel 100 horsepower automatic it's a six speed semi-automatic robotized manual gearbox which is very economical very reliable it's like the fiat and the mercedes gearboxes of the time as well uh, and it's got cab air conditioning which is not something you always see on the roof we've got a digital tv aerial there's no awning or anything like that with this one but we could fit one if you like nice big wide electric step there for getting in waste water tank drain tap down there Fresh water tank fill up point here, obviously opening window in the slide in door. Um, body work wise the only fault I've seen on the van is it does have this scratch here. Now we're going to be able to polish a lot of that out, I don't think this bit would polish out. It comes along a bit and we'll polish a decent bit of it out but there will probably still be something visible there but it will clean up better than it currently is anyway. Apart from that, it's absolutely spot on. Been very well mechanically looked after. It's got very fresh looking Michelin Aguilis tyres on, which are quite expensive. That's always a good sign. Um, rear corners are fine. Heated rear windows and obviously the opening back doors. You've got reversing sensors across the back there. There's no camera. We could fit one if you wanted, but you've got the beepers. Spare wheel underneath. If I open up the back door, this is a front lounge end kitchen van or side kitchen van corner washroom we've got a freestanding table there which you can use outside or you can put between the benches at the front coming around the driver's corner no faults there we'll black up these plastics where they've faded slightly but all in excellent condition so you've got onboard fresh and waste water tanks mains hook up leisure battery um, truma gas and mains electric powered uh, hot water heater with a proper set for bench toilet and shower down there's a stubby little exhaust pipe and that's the exhaust pipe for the Wabasto blown air diesel powered heating system which is amazing it's very very economical to use very powerful it's a really good system the so main hook up there fresh water tank drain pipe there I know that's wastewater so it must be fresh fresh water tank on the other side Again, all in good order there, so the only fault on it is that little scratch on the other side, which we'll try and polish out and tidy up a little bit. So see if the mileage has popped up yet. Yeah, yeah, mileage has popped up, so it's only done 47,000 miles from new, and it's had 10 services. You've got twin swivel cab seats. Uh, easy to swivel the passenger seat, less easy to swivel the driver's seat, because the handbrake would have to go off oh no no it's a fly off handbrake it's always in the down position so you could actually swivel the driver's seat over the top of that if you wanted to so we've got the six speed Renault quick shift semi-auto gearbox we've got the cab air conditioning cruise control it's the normal Renault factory fitted stereo but it does have an auxiliary input but if you wanted a more modern one put in there you, you could do I'm sure but that will do a fine job 
Apart from that, all the normal bits and bobs, steering wheel controls for your stereo. We've got electric mirrors, electric windows, and say aircon, and it's automatic. So small automatic van conversions. Don't see them every day of the week. Very, very desirable things. So coming around and jumping in through the sliding habitation door. You come into a nice open front lounge. So we've got the step there. Just to give you an idea, that's up to my sort of lower shin height basically, that's the step. And then quite a wide aperture there, you swivel passenger seat and side sofa. So to make the bed up on this, you could use it as it is with your uh, side sofa just as a single bed, or you can pull that out, drop the backrest down to make it into a wider single bed. If you wanted to, you can bring this forward here into a single bed as well, and then that extends further back beneath your flying wardrobe but if you didn't want to do that so just slide this out make a bigger single bed if you want uh, or if you slide this out as well this whole area is into a, uh, a double bed so storage over the cab uh, up here you've got your silver screens which just suction pad on there if you wanted cab blinds fitting you could do they're quite expensive but you can fit the cab concertina blinds or external silver screens whatever you want Nice big side windows, these are proper double glazed motorhome style windows with the more expensive concertina style blinds and fly screens which are really good. Upholstery is in lovely condition in furnace, it's a nice light colour as well which is quite practical. We've got a big full size opening hecky roof light above as well and a smaller skylight to the rear there. Only 5.4 metres this so it'll pretty much stack in a normal parking space, it fits a lot in in furnace too. it's really good news. So we've got a wardrobe. You've got two wardrobes, so this one's shelved out, and then we've got a really big one here, which is massive with your hanging rail and your digital TV aerial in there. Gas is underneath the foot here, so as you gas, you've got oh, it comes with two gas bottles as well. They're a rare find these days, color gas bottles. So, because this was a buy in, they've left the gas bottles in, which is brilliant. And then we've got the side galley kitchen back here. So it's only got a little fridge. It's a little 12 volt compressor fridge, nice and easy to use. If you've got two hands to uh, undo it off the travel catch, but you've got a freezer compartment in there as well. We've got a 12 volt socket, main socket, electric controls for your water heater, fresh water tank level gauge, and then your gas controls for your water heater and your Wabasto blown air heater controls up there. You simply twist it and it will bellow out loads and loads of hot water. Zig unit up here, so your power management system, your charger, so we've got a simple on-off switch for that. We've got battery level gauges, battery selector switch to switch between your leisure battery and your vehicle battery. Water pump on-off switch, nice and easy. And then cooking wise, there's no oven, I mean it's only a 5.4 metre van, but you've got two gas burner hob there. And underneath you've got a, a grill down there. And then a little sink for doing your washing up in. Plenty of storage cupboards. Oh, there's your water heater underneath of there, wheel arch there, so a little bit tight on space there. We've got cutlery tray underneath of there, and then a decent food storage cupboard there. Storage pocket in the rear door. Here we've got your Thetford toilet cassette emptying point. It's got a big toilet cassette, two high level cupboards, and your corner washroom. So they come into your corner washroom, you come past, and then you open the door. And you got your corner bathroom there. So we've got a fixed sink, big stable bench type toilet, shower tray underneath of there, and your shower hose. If you're showering, you can just pull that out there nice and easy. Big planker wood effect. Might actually be wood though, yeah, it is wood. And then a shower curtain to go around and a, a skylight for, for ventilation. It's a nice little bathroom in furnace to it. That's about it really, so there's no carpets with this one unless they're hidden away somewhere, so it's vinyl flooring throughout. There is a step up into the cab, there's a safe underneath the passenger seat, but there is this step up into the cab there, which you'd have to be aware of. And you may find, for some, it might just be a little bit tight at the back there. But for a 5.4 metre van, you'd struggle to fit any more in, and it's a nice bit of kit in furnace to it. Needs to clean on the inside, it's just come in literally now, so it's not been valeted, but overall doesn't smell of dog, doesn't smell of cigarettes, doesn't smell of cats or anything nasty, so it'll clean up absolutely bang on. So this is our Devon Limousine 2010, it's done 47,000 miles, it's an automatic medium wheelbase with toilet, shower, fresh and waste water tanks, all your kit and caboodles, 
in a very manageable package um, at a good size point and a fair price point. So Highbridge Caravans Devon, Devon Limousin, 32.95. Thank you very much. Goodbye.